Disclaimer, this is coming from someone who has had a decent experience with live stream and pre-recorded concerts, but not any IRL ones. Mileage may vary. Above all, my concert experience was still amazing, but here's things I could have done better to get the most out of my first live concert experience. Hi guys, I just wanted to chat about my very first IRL concert experience, my mistakes, and things that I think could make my, or your, experience much better for the next one. April 5th, 2022 was my very first concert seeing Attack Attack with Conquer Divide across the White Water Tower and Until I Wake. There, for the most part, bands that I know at least a song or two from Conquer Divide was the main reason I came even though they were not necessarily the main act. Which brings me to mistake number one, I didn't prepare musically. While I could probably sing every Conquer Divide song by heart, I didn't know the other bands much, if at all, so I kind of just awkwardly did a soft headbang. I definitely recommend getting a good listen of all the bands performing, even if you don't know the music by heart when you get there. It makes for a much better vibe and a feeling of camaraderie amongst fellow concert goers, especially if you're there by yourself like I was. Mistake number two, I did not wear comfortable shoes. You are going to be using your entire body moshing and especially your legs and feet. Even if it's dorky ass dad sneakers, wear something that you're gonna be comfy getting physical in because believe me, it's much better than completely killing your feet. Especially if you have to work the next day. My concert was on a Tuesday night and the thought alone of going up and down stairs the next morning was enough to make me hit the snooze button. And this probably goes without saying, but make sure your shoes have closed toes. Really, and just as a general note, make sure to wear clothes that are comfy and that you don't mind maybe getting beer splashed on by accident. Mistake number three, along with forgetting to wear good shoes, I did not stretch or limber up before getting in to do my, you know, moshing and everything hurt the next day. Um, I was told that it would be pretty normal for your calves to hurt because, you know, you're jumping and you're on your toes a lot, but everything hurt. My shoulders, my neck, everything. So just, you know, make sure you limber up at least to sort of mitigate those effects. You are going to be sore, but you know, good news is I didn't need to go to the gym the next day. Um, so somewhat of a mistake number four was not wearing ear protection. Now I'm pretty used to loud music and noise because I'm forever moshing in my car, but I'd probably wear ear protection next time, especially if I end up being like right by the stage or the speakers. My tinnitus though was pretty minimal without ear protection. It just lasted until the next morning when I woke up. It's better to wear ear protection if you feel like you'll be closer to the front of the stage. I didn't know how packed the place was gonna be when I got there. So I was actually expecting to be much further back than I was. So um, make sure to wear ear protection if you plan to be by the front of the stage. And mistake number five that wasn't actually mine. Screaming creepy and objectifying things at the bands or catcalling. Just don't, yo. Just treat band members like humans, please. Um, I, <laughs> I could see there was like one uh, person who was like screaming like, you're so hot at one of the Conquer Divide members and she seemed a bit uncomfortable. I could be wrong, you know, in, in the way that I saw or experienced that, but just, you know, I don't know, treat people like humans. If you don't want a stranger saying it to you, then probably it's a good rule of thumb not to say it to a band member because they just want to be there to perform. And they're, they're also like very, you know, down to earth. A lot of them actually like until I wake, their band members are actually like hanging out in the crowd with us uh, for a good part of the show. So treat them like humans, be kind, uh, don't be weird. And screaming, I love hentai into the crowd is not a WFM. Other than that, I had an amazing time. The venue was a smaller nightclub, which made it feel a lot more intimate and fun. Um, I was right at the stage for Conquer Divide's portion, and it was honestly just completely kick-ass and really, really enjoyed it. And I even got to snag a picture with Conquer Divide, which was really just one of the coolest things in my life. An incredible crew of female metalheads that I just yeah, really was excited and, and happy to have that happen. And yeah, don't worry about being too into the music or the band. Energy begets energy, so be the one to start the mosh. Don't be afraid. There was one guy that was circle moshing for like the entire time, but um, there are a few people that started to join him by the end, especially by Attack Attack set. 
it's really good. So it was, it was really good to see everybody just, you know, cut loose and have a good time. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm personally super jazzed for my next concert, whatever and whenever that may be. I'm just a little sad it took till age 26 to pop my concert cherry, but hey, you're never too old to rock. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. If you did, please, you know, give it a like, do the subscribe thingy. I'm also on YouTube at Major Arlene. Twitter um, link tree will be down below so you can stalk me on all my socials. Thank you guys. It's really been a really fun experience getting to get back into video making. I kind of have been heavier into my development work on um, Doom stuff, but other than that, I will hopefully be getting videos out a little bit more on a regular basis. And huge thank you to Biodegradable for editing for me. He's amazing, please go check him out. I will post his uh, links below as well. All that being said, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.